which class is right for you in Remnant 2? Well, in this one, there are five different class archetypes to choose from. The Gunslinger, the Medic, the Handler, the Challenger, and the Hunter. And each of these classes have their own armor set, three unique weapons, a signature archetype trait, archetype perks, and archetype skills. So before we go through the classes, let's explain each of those because this game has some major changes from the first one, or if it's just your first Remnant game, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Archetype skills are your abilities that are specific to each of the classes. They can be triggered during gameplay, and you can only have one equipped at a time. You unlock more as you level up, and there are three per class to choose from. Archetype traits are like passive abilities that instead of investing points into them, they level up automatically with you as you level. For example, on the Gunslinger class, they can get extra ammo reserves from their trait. Your archetype perks are another type of passive bonus that you can get by equipping them, but you are only able to equip one at a time, and they come in five different types, damage perks, team perks, utility perks, and relic perks. You will be able to switch and get access to other classes once you've made enough progress in the game. You can swap for free and it won't reset your previous class, but when you do swap, you will need to level that new class up from scratch. In addition to this, you can actually get access to multi-classing later on in the game. You're able to select an additional archetype that will then allow you to benefit from all of the stuff of that archetype apart from their prime perk and your new hybrid class will be named after a mix of those two classes. Well, now that you understand how classes in general work in Remnant 2, let's run you through each one of them and let us know which class you're thinking about playing. We want to see which one will be the most popular, so hit the like button on the video if you're going to try the game out. First up is the Hunter. If you are looking to live out the sniper lifestyle, then this one might just be for you. It's all about long range precision based gameplay. It's a DPS focused class, meaning you'll have to make sure you are hitting those weak points to maximize your damage. And a massive benefit to this class is that you can mark enemies through walls, allowing your whole team to have the upper hand no matter what the encounter is. The prime perk for the Hunter allows you to keep your damage buff tight up if you're hitting enemy weak points with the prime perk dead to rights. Most of the passive archetype perks focus on increasing crit damage, ranged damage, or just damage in general. But where they really shine is in their skills. The three skills that the Hunter has to choose from are the Hunter's Mark, the Hunter's Focus, and the Hunter's Shroud. These are all focused around the core class mechanic of marking enemies, which allows you to spot enemies through walls and boost the critical chance of your team by 15% on those marked enemies. For the Hunter's Mark, it's a returning skill from the previous game. It allows you to mark all enemies in the surrounding area within 35 meters and gives you a boost to your ranged and melee damage. The Hunter's Focus allows you to automatically mark targets, but you will need to have some trigger discipline as the longer that you aim down sights at a target, the more buffs you gain to weapon handling and your damage. Your Hunter's Shroud ability is probably the coolest one as it allows you to essentially go invisible. While invisible, attacking will make you visible again, but will mark all enemies close to you and give you a massive 50% damage boost to melee hits, meaning you can sneak in and backstab everything. And then if you want to go invisible again, you simply stop attacking. So if you want to be a long-ranged assassin, then this class is probably for you. But next up is the Challenger, and this is one for the tanky melee boys out there. If you want to get up close and personal with enemies in Remnant 2 while dealing massive melee damage, then this class is the one to pick. It's proficient at both close ranged guns like shotguns as well as melee weapons like swords, and you can really dish out some heavy damage while also being protected by both your heavy armor and the bonuses that reduce incoming damage to you. This means you can really get deep into the action pretty much all of the time. The class's prime perk allows you to go into encounters fearlessly as it gives you a second wind, so if you're fatally wounded, die hard will have you back up and running even after taking damage that would normally cause you to die. Their passive perks have you gain bonuses to damage and damage reduction based on how close to the enemy you are and how many of them there are. And here's the three skills that the challenger has access to. War Stomp, which is a skill that allows you to create a shockwave that damages enemies and causes them to get staggered. Juggernaut, which is a melee focused skill that gives you bonus movement speed and huge damage reduction. This is probably the skill of choice if you actually want to run around with a sword, hacking and slashing your way through enemies, as you won't get flinched as easily. But you also have Rampage, which is one to use if you prefer the close range guns, as this one will have you build up Rampage stacks for the damage you deal, awarding you bonus range damage and weapon bonus, until you reach enough stats to go fully berserk, and then you get an insane buff doubling all of the bonuses that you got previously from Rampage. So if you want to be more tanky and close range, the Challenger is definitely one you should pick. 
And next up is the Handler. This is one to pick if you want your very own good boy helping you out while battling enemies. This is basically Remnant 2's pet class and it allows you to give utility bonuses to yourself and your team such as movement speed and more. It's a bit of a jack of all trades meaning you can do a bit of everything from damaging to tanking and supporting. You will have a companion that will attack things for you and you can even pet it. While your companion is close to you it will also heal over time. Your prime perk for the Handler is called Bonded and this one will save your team in a dire situation as it lets your dog basically revive you or an ally if they have a dragon heart. The perks on the handler are all about utility, so if you want to give your team some faster revive speeds or just make them move like Sonic through the map, the choice is yours with this class. The three different skills that you get access to as the handler are basically all commands that you can issue to your dog, and all of them will have the dog perform an action as well as give it a passive bonus. For each skill you're able to send your dog to a location, command it to return close to you, or do a howl. Guard dog is a skill that you want to take if you want your dog to tank for you as it reduces the damage your dog takes and will draw more aggro to the dog from enemies. The howl for this one will give your team a defensive damage reduction buff and gives your companion additional aggro. Next is support dog. This will turn your companion into a portable healing machine as it gives healing over time to nearby allies and you can issue a howl command to do a big heal over time to increase that amount. And finally is attack dog. This pretty much does what it says on the tin. It gives a passive attack bonus to the companion and the howl will give a team wide damage buff. So if you're looking to do a bit of everything and you like dogs, this class is pretty much the one to go for. Next up, if you just want to focus on dealing as much damage as possible, then you might want to think about going for the gunslinger as your first choice as they are a full DPS focus class. They excel at high rate of fire, weapon handling and ammo efficiency, meaning you can blast your way through most things. Their prime skill will have you automatically reload both of your guns when a skill is activated. And the perks for the Gunslinger are all about DPS uptime with perks that revolve around reload speed, ammo generation and weapon swapping speed. For your three active skills, the first one is Quick Draw. This will draw a hidden gun and then automatically target enemies in front of you and unload the entire magazine. You can also hold this down to do a single more powerful shot if there's a single enemy that you want to focus. Your next ability is Sidewinder. It's very cool because it gives you a bonus to ADS speed and weapon swap speed, but also reloads the weapons when you swap them. And finally, Bullet Storm, which is insane. It gives you a buff to your fire rate and reload speed, but also makes any weapon fully automatic, meaning you can fully unload on enemies. Looking at the perks and skills, you can see that this is the class to go for if you want to focus purely on damage dealing. So if that's what you enjoy, then the Gunslinger is probably one for you. And next up is the more cultured and responsible choice for teammates out there, the Medic. If you want to keep your team alive and well, then the Medic class is probably one that you should go for as it allows you to not only heal yourself, but also your team. You can also revive teammates without the risk of being interrupted. Their prime skill is called Regenerator, and it gives you back a Reddick Charge if you do enough healing. The passive perks are focused around increasing healing and other support bonuses, so it all lines up. Your skills though include Wellspring, an option for a short ranged AoE heal, and it is the skill that does the most healing, but due to the short range may not be your best option for every scenario. You also have Healing Shield that grants a protective shield to your allies and heals them over time. This is great for situations where a player is in danger and on low health. And then you have Redemption, a chargeable skill that not only revives teammates but also gives them a heal over time, meaning you can get right back into the fight. So if you want to make sure your team is ready for any situation, then you may want to pick the Medic as healing skills will help keep you alive and keep fighting, and they are definitely needed. If you want to know what classes we ended up picking, I went for the Gunslinger as I absolutely love dealing big damage. Meanwhile, 26 went for the Challenger because he wanted to get up close and personal, melee hacking and slashing at enemies. We found both of these two classes incredibly fun, so we definitely recommend these if you prefer melee or ranged DPS. So tell me, did you change your choice after learning all of this? Which class are you going to go with? Tell us in the comments down below. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.